Hey guys, welcome back to Little Piece of the Heaven Farm. My name's Farron, and I'm out here in my what we like to call a wild section. Um, it's got a lot of sticker bushes and whatnot just overgrown out here. And I'm going to start clearing some of that out, and uh, that should help uh, with any um, deer hiding out in here. Um, I don't think that deer is here anymore. I think he's outside of our deer fence now Because the other day I did see it out there on the main road so uh, Just in case he happens to find his way back in here He won't have a place to hide and come out at night and start munching on the garden But uh, anyhow that deer fence I have up. I think that will keep him out and I haven't seen that deer for about two weeks now since I've completed the, the fence so I'm pretty sure the deer is out besides I'm not just clearing it just for the deer there's just a lot of wild blackberry bushes growing back in here and, and we don't need that it just grows like a weed and spreads everywhere and I do have a spring through here and somewhere in here in all this brush um, it must have got dammed up or something because now the water is being diverted in my small pasture that I have over that way on the other side of these trees. And it's just slopping wet right now over there. And usually at this time of year it's dry. So I was unable to mow that area this year. So um, I have a feeling some branches and brush and whatnot got piled up somewhere and dammed up the, the little creek. Um, I don't think it's a beaver because I don't see any signs of beaver chewing on little saplings and whatnot. I think just over a period of time the debris and branches and whatnot just got piled up and created a dam. So anyhow I'm going to clear all this up and and uh, clean out the uh, spring in certain places where Right here in front of me, I can see that it's got so much stuff piled up in there over the years. So I know it's holding water up in this area. Um, probably going to put a uh, culvert in there. Basically just a plastic pipe that I have. Um, it's an 8 inch round. I'm just going to lay that in there once I clean it out. Throw some dirt and gravel on top of it. That way I could get on the other side. Um, without worrying about it getting stuck in the mud and whatnot, but uh, I'm pretty sure I could get over there right now. I mean, there's a lot of debris and grass growing everywhere. I've been through there before. I cleaned this out a few years ago, and anyhow, it's time to clear this out again. Here, I'll turn the camera around so you can see what I'm dealing with. That's what I'm dealing with. A lot of blackberries popping up in there. Got to get all that cleared out. I don't mind the ferns and grass growing back in here and some of these other plants. But I just don't like the blackberries. I mean it's not native to this area. Just growing wild. Just so you don't get confused with my Marion berries that I do grow for food. It's a separate separate plant. Marion berries do not spread like this. Based on my experience, they don't spread by seed. They spread by the marion berries in the fall. The tips of the branches will angle down into the ground and root in the ground. That's how the marion berries spread around. But blackberries, no. It'll spread by seed. Birds come along and eat the blackberries and fly over different places on your property and poop and there you go, you got a blackberry plant. Yeah, there's wild blackberries, very invasive. And yeah, let's get this started. Look at all those blackberries. Yeah, we can't have that. Very invasive. Thank you. 
What I've gotten done so far today. That over there just nothing but blackberries. Apparently one of my trees fell. So I have to somehow I get that pulled out of there. And you can see it right there been there for a while looks like it's pretty well rotten could be the reason why it fell but all these blackberries here has got to go okay I'm done working in the uh, our so-called wild section for now I'm out here by my compost bin and I'm gonna build another bin beside this one because I'm going to let this compost fully break down on and not add any more material to it. I'm just going to start a new new pile right here. So I got to get this dirt pile here pushed off to the side and, and go find me some more crates I have laying around and build me another bin right there.
Okay, now it's time to add material to our compost. This here is just our kitchen scraps. Then I'm going to add some of these yard scraps that I stuck over here temporarily until I got my compost built, bin built. I just noticed over here on compost bin. There appears to be a volunteer tomato plant growing right there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it there and see what happens. Based on the size of it this time of year, I'll probably get late tomatoes. Anyhow, time will tell. Hey guys. One in the back is my quarter horse, Penny. Oh, white one in there, her name is Cheyenne. And that one's Lakota. A miniature Appy. Now these horses here will provide excellent composting materials. That you can pick up and throw in your compost bin. A nice pile right there. So let's go ahead and get these picked up. bucket collected around in front of the shelter and inside the shelter. If I wanted to I could drive around all out there and pick all those up. But I'm not going to bore you with that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this to the compost and pile there and throw it in the pile. You could also go out to the this all called back 40. I got another shelter out there where the goats and the llamas use and I could you could pick that up and throw it in the compost as well. I think I'll go up there and get that big pile of llama poop. One thing about llamas, they go to the bathroom in the same spot every time. So that makes it easy for to pick that up. So let's head up there and get that. There you go, llama poo. Or llama manure. We're gonna pick that up and that'd be excellent fertilizer for the compost. <laughs> Good Odie there, the llama. He's watching me picking up his manure. He's probably wondering what the hell I'm doing. Back there's our sheep iris. And yeah, let's go take this and dump this in our compost. And that there's our goat. Name her Trouble because she always gets in trouble. Now after adding some material to my compost, I like to uh, it in, especially this time of year in the summer. 
Been getting any rain. Haven't had rain for like a couple months now. Mm -hmm. 